Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. I'm Matt. For today's episode, we're talking about another Whistlepig product. This is the Black Prince. Ooh. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, Whistlepig always has some pretty bottles. Let's see. Now this may be the best bottle they've ever made. Also the best whiskey they ever made. This is the Black Prince. Fourth edition Boss Hog. Look at this topper. Is that a piggy? Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. See, he's so pretty. A little piggy tail, too. <laughs> he's made of pewter. You can kill a dog with it. It's cool. I mean, this thing weighs a friggin' ton. So, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Like I said, it's fourth edition. The Boss Hog is straight ride. Finish Armagnac. It's 60.1%. 14 years old. This is barrel 16. The Black Prince was a real person named Prince, who was the Prince Edward of Woodstock, who was the eldest son of King Edward III. He lived from 1330 to 1376. He was not a very noble knight. He was interested in raping, burning, and pillaging the countryside of France as he conquered it. He was a bad man. He's so bad man. he was also ran off of many barrels of Armagnac because that's what he loved to drink. He was also called the Black Boar. Um, so, yeah, he apparently was a bastard. So he's not a very nice man. So got that going for us. Well, they need a whiskey more. Uh, it's supposed to be the very first rye ever finished in Armagnac cast that we're aware of. It is a 95 rye five barley from MGP. Of course, bottled down Vermont on the Whistle Pig Farm. Only 6,000 bottles were ever made. It's won the best whiskey award in 2017 in the San Francisco Awards. So, before they started lying and saying that uh, that bullshit, McKenna was the best. So, anyway, because they're full of shit. Now, I consider this the absolute best rye ever made. Uh, we actually did two weeks ago, compared this to every best rye I ever had. We had this, the Mictors Fort Nelson. We had the Booker's rye. We had the Jack Daniel Special Edition rye. It's like, yeah, I'll batch one rye. There was nothing that came close. This was the number one rye ever. Not just nice that, also Chris, Chris uh, Liquor Hound was there as well. So, this is a good authority, the best rye that we've ever had ever made. So, just want to let you As know. As you know, William amazing. and I, you know, we're iffy on the rise. So I think, you know, we might be able to make be a good judge on that. <laughs> well, this smells <sighs> so fruity. It really I does. Armagnac is beautiful. I'm not uh -huh. very familiar with Armagnac. I haven't had Armagnac. I've, you know, smelled had one. One. At least. Oh, we can do an Armagnac night. Don't you worry about that. No, He's like, I would love it. it. Would I, I, I would not. I would not love that. But don't worry, Bacta's coming. Oh, <laughs> God, I love started that. this brand too. Yeah, he did. Made whistle pig, so it's all good. Oh, this is. Oh, it smells God, freaking so glorious. Dense. I don't. Creme brulee, vanilla, caramel, whistle pig, winter fresh, uncooked dough, all spice, cinnamon, Black cardamom. Pepper. Oh, Licorice, God. plum, dark fruits, clove, peppercorn, white pepper, green pepper. Oh, it's just gorgeous. There's a lot going on in this glass. There's, so There's a lot. In this glass. It's a very complex nose for a rye when you just normally oh. are like rye. This, 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 and this. Right. You're done. It's a so rye. good. Well, the Armagnac. The Armagnac. Yeah, so it's what it does. It's the Armagnac, yeah. It just good. makes magic happen with this one. It really does. Oh, this is it's All right. so beautiful. Whoa. Wow. So. Oh. Whoa. So I almost get that incense woodiness on this. Oh. Um, Thank you. It's so fucking good. Yeah, it's like. Wow, it's so. It's very dense. It's very dark. And Super so oily. Hard and oily, yeah, and charred. How long? Yeah. How long did this sit in a barrel? Fourteen years. There you That's go. It. Well. Yeah, cream brulee again. A little bit more oak on it for sure. Vanilla, caramel. A lot of oak on it. Cool buffermint. Vanilla and caramel. It's very fruity for a rye. Which are fresh. I've ever had such a fruity rye. Yeah, apples, plums, dates, raisins, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. It's all over the place. Black pepper, yes. licorice, mint. Yep, vanilla yogurt, spearmint, little anise, yeah. little special dill, black pepper. Vanilla. 
I get a lot of real vanilla on that last yeah. it's, it's fruit, salad, fruit salad topped with fresh whip and then cracked black pepper on top like, of it. Yes, it's just oh. that 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 spice oh. just added. Oh, good. Ooh. Good God. I mean, they are 500, but you know, they're delightful. But it's it's so layered. It really is. It's not. It's not anything close to a one note anything. It's mm -hmm. just ridiculously layered. That's what we found was most of the rides you compare it to were so simple. It just traveled down this little path. Whereas this is like. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That's what makes it so much better is that it's it's just so much more volatile and and, and, and to, uh complex. It's one of those complex whiskeys I've ever had. Like for me, this is the top five rye, you know, not just rye, but top five whiskeys I've ever had. It's yeah. the best rye I've ever had by far. It's not even close. I'll, not I'll, it, so. I'll agree with that one. Like you you know how we feel about rye. So yeah, this, this does thing not put it in as anything that I don't enjoy about most rise out there mm -hmm. this is dense and complex and uh, just fruity and peppery and just a, a lovely adventure across the palate yeah because i used mm -hmm. to get straight pickle with whistle pig and well the younger stuff for sure yeah i get a slight hint very far back but it's like almost like a a dill seed instead yes. of yeah, like dill, straight yeah. on pickle right. like i usually get so that's that's what we don't like about the rice is the pickle so Keep that out of it, and we're good. <laughs> All, right, All right, so you get a chance That's... to have this and try the greatest ride in the world. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah, if you get a chance to try it, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's worth the pour of the bar for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Come hang out with us live on Monday nights and check out the Patreon for behind the scenes fun. And until next time, keep on crusading, put a whiskey in your glass. Cheers. 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 Hardly any left in my glass to cheers off to. Mm -hmm. Magic. That's some good shit. So good. Okay. Next thing Sarah wants nothing to do is, so it's okay. Maybe we'll have a good time. Thank you. Oh, good, we're almost done. Sarah's hungry. Lefrog. Gorgeous. Lefroggy!